This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with this ABC 10 News update. Changes to the state's guidelines are making it harder for counties to fall back in tiers. Originally, the state was focused on the case rate, but now they will be looking at a number of other factors, including looking at hospitalizations, testing positivity, and adjusted case rates. Health officials are still stressing that everyone follow the guidelines that are in place to stay safe. Vaccination Superstation at the Del Mar Fairgrounds will be closed starting today through Sunday. Lower than expected vaccine deliveries are forcing the site to close. Patients with appointments on the days canceled should be automatically rescheduled through the My Turn online system. The site has had to deal with multiple closures in the last couple of months. Well, students at Poway Unified will be back in school for more days after the school board voted to expand in-person learning. Plan has already been implemented with high school students back on campus four days a week. Middle schools will follow the plan starting April 19th. And around the county, Chula Vista Elementary and San Diego Unified School Districts are welcoming students back to the classroom on Monday. Let's get out to Megan now, get a check on our weather today. Hey, Megan. Hey, Jim. Happy Friday, everybody. A beautiful day all across the county. Temperatures trending pretty close to what we saw yesterday. Mid-60s to low 70s along our coast. Mid-70s to low 80s inland. Near 70 in the mountains and hot in the deserts in the 90s. More of the same tomorrow with morning clouds clearing out quickly to sunny skies. We'll see slower clearing starting Sunday and a cooling trend then that will be bringing temperatures actually to the 60s next week for even inland neighborhoods, possibly even some drizzle by Tuesday out of those thicker marine layer clouds. And the breezy conditions will continue in the mountain and desert areas each afternoon and evening. Westerly gusts of 20 to 35 miles per hour will be possible. Jim? Megan, thank you very much. And for the latest news, weather, and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News mobile app in your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Jim Patton.